Dear student, we are on the CEC Gurukul lectures. Today we are discussing the basics of electronics. Up to now we have discussed that we are the electronics can be defined by the two signal processing like the analog signal and the digital signal. Nowadays we use the digital signal processing uh, uh, which is very much important and we are discussing the two types of circuit on the basis of signal processing which is the analog signal and the digital signal the 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 electronic devices divided into two parts the circuits are divided into two parts first is the electronic circuit and second is the digital circuit on the basis of the signal processing in the uh, analog circuit we use the analog signal and the digital circuit we use the digital signal and we are discussing the difference between these analog circuits and the digital circuits. If the precision and the accuracy are not a criteria then the analog circuits can simply and inexpensible. But if uh, we use the digital signal even with the simple design techniques at the low cost the digital circuits can provide the good accuracy and precession. We can get the accurate result in the digits also in the digital circuits in comparison to the analog circuits. Moreover, sometimes we work manually on the analog system, but in the digital system we can work digitally. We can take the output on the computers also. Due to the lack of the skilled engineers and the complexity of the designing, analog circuits can turn out to be quite expensive. But here, nowadays advanced integrated circuit technologies are developed and many other factors which help in the uh, construction of of the digital circuit which is more reliable, low in cost, smaller in size. We can see that how the size of computer is squeezing day by day as a component electronic gadgets, electronic components are making its miniaturization. The nanotechnology we use just to get the advanced integrated circuit that nowadays use in the mobiles as well as in the uh, computers, in the laptops. So, how this uh, digital uh, circuits are uh, day by day becoming miniaturized and give the more output at the lower cost and in the smaller size. We are dealing with the electronics. So, the most of the important part of the electronic is the electrical electric charge. So, we start from the basic that what is the electric charge, how the, uh, how it is used in the development of the electronic circuits and how its behavior in the electronic circuit. So, electric charge is an object with more electrons than photons is said to be the negative charge negative charge. An object with the protons with the electrons in set to be the positive charge. It means any combination having the electron as well as the protons, negative and positive charges. The imbalance between the P and E in the charge object is proportionally very small. So, the difference may be of only 10 power 12 particles out of total of the 10 power 25 that is the imbalance of the 1 per 10 trillions. So, charge cannot be created nor destroyed but it can be transferred from between the objects like uh, electrons to proton. So, like energy, momentum, electric charge is also a con con conserved quantity. The charge object exerts electric forces on each other that, are, that means opposite charges attract and like charges repel. So, we can say in the broader statement that electric charge is a conserved quantity. What is the unit of electric charge? First, we say that it is represented by Q and the unit of this electric charge is Coulomb and uh, we can say here that the elementary charge particle E is equal to the uh, if we take the single photon or a single electron. Q photon that is plus I E you see on the screen that plus I E that is the charge of the photon and Q electron is equal to minus 1 E that is the charge of electron and its unit is Coulomb. 
and it is represented by Q. Now, uh, we can say that Coulomb is defined as the number of electrons passing through the current of I that is in ampere in each second. So, Coulomb is equal to A s. What is the Coulomb definition? Electron passing through a current of 1 ampere in a each second that is the Coulomb. C is equal to A into s and uh, that uh, conversion between the C and E was determined by the Millikan and uh, one electron is equal to that in terms of the coulomb is equal to 1.60 into 10 power nine minus 19 coulomb it must be easier to me measure the charge flowing in the current how much charge is flowing in the current that we can measure easily then we count uh, it is difficult to count the photon and electron individually but we can measure the charge flow in the current that charge is only because of the photons and electrons. So, by using this flow of electrons we can find out the charge flowing in the current that can be measured. Electric charges there are three common ways of neutral object become the charge first is the friction, second is the conduction and third is the induction that we will discuss in the next lecture. Previously, but we should know that the charge can be uh, that, 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 that can be flow by the three methods friction, conduction and the induction. Now, what is the electricity? As we say always that the electronics related with the electricity and this electri electrical engineering branch is the electronics. So, electricity is a very important definition here we see electricity is a one of the form of the energy. It can be produced from the one type of energy such energy may be from the chemical reaction or from the mechanical rotation or the dynamo. So, electricity we produce as we see in houses that electricity that that we are uh, for that will be used to light the bulb, light the fan. So, electricity is one form of the energy it can produce from the other type of energy like from the chemical reaction from the mechanical rotation or from of the dynamo. So, great uh, advantages of this electricity is our cleanliness, flexibility, efficiency, easier transmission. What is this electrical circuit? Now, you see on the screen here, this is a simple electrical circuit, a source of electric power, a battery or AC source. Here we see load, switches and other elements connected together by the wires form a electric circuit. If anyone will ask you that what is the electric circuit that we can say that it is a type of arrangement where, where the battery that is the power electric power load switches and other elements are connected together to form a arrangement that is the electric circuit. You see in the diagram that here we are having the voltage, register, key, battery, ammeter these are connected through the wires and when it is connected accordingly what type of output we require that is the electric circuit. Uh, diagram this is a simple electric circuit which is made of the voltage register battery and battery used to power supply and a, a ammeter that is used to measure the current V voltage that is will be used. Now, register rheostat and resistance uh, boxes consist of wire which are generally made of alloys such as manganese and that is the constant. Now, we see here see uh, that there are the various type of the register you see here right hand side there is an arrow between this uh, register that will be the variable register. Third is the rheostat you see that the symbol of rheostat is like that yes, after the there is a mark there is a arrow uh, towards the register and then the fourth one is the resistance box. Resistance box is represented by R where we are having the very various values of resistance in this resistance box that can be used accordingly in the uh, system. Now, the basic definition of the Ohm's law we should know when we deal with the electronics. So, what is this Ohm's law? Ohm's law basically explain that the strength of current flowing through any conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the 
ends. So, V is the potential difference across the end of the conductor and if you say I is the current or the strength of the current flowing through the conductor. According to the Ohm's law, we can write it as we all know that what is Ohm's law, V directly proportional to the I. So, V is equal to I R, V is the voltage, I is the current and R is the constant of proportionality and whose value depends upon the size, nature and the material and the temperature of the conductor. So, this is the Ohm's law which is V directly proportional to I. Now, what is the resistance? Here we are discussing the sum of the definition of the electronic component. First, we should know what is resistance, what is capacitance so that it can be used further. So, this what is the resistance? The resistance of a conductor is the ratio of the potential difference across its end to the strength of the current flowing through it. So, resistance is defined as potential difference divided by the current. So, resistance of a conductor is the ratio of the potential difference to the strength of current that is why resistance is equal to potential difference divided by the current. And what is its unit? Its unit is in ohm, ohm that symbol that is a symbol of the resistance. Now, which factor resistance depends upon the length and cross section area. What is the length? How it depends upon the length? If the length of the conductor increases, the electrons have to travel a longer distances and the result of this resistance increases. So, as a length increases, resistance will increase as R is equal to directly proportional to the L. What about the cross section? Cross section is represented by cross section area represented by the A. If the cross sectional area of the conductor decreases, the electron finders more difficult to pass through it and in this case resistance increases. Length increases, resistance will increase, but the cross sectional area increases, then resistance will decrease. That is why R directly proportional to L by A. Then we can write it at R is equal to rho L by A. What is this rho? Rho is the constant of proportionality and it is called the resistivity. So, resistance depends upon two factors first is the length and second is the cross sectional area. This is the table which explain the resistivity with respect to the temperature of the various materials. Now, what is the combination of the resistor in series? Now, we all know that we can get the two type of combination of resistors, resistors in the series and resistors in the parallel. First, we discuss the resistors in the series. A number of resistors are set to be connected in the series if these are joined end to end and the same current flows through the each of them when the potential difference is applied across the combination. How? When we connect the each resistance in the series, in the series how we will connect each resistance end to end connect and we apply a current on it and it will go in, in the same manner. So, that is the combination of resistors in the series. Now, in the series combination, equivalent register is equal to the sum of the equivalent register that is greater than of any individual register. All the registers resistance will be calculated by the addition of all these resistance of the registers. Now, you see this we can see here that if it represented by V1, then it will be V1 plus V2 plus V3. Applying the Ohm's law, then we can have V is equal to I R. Now, if we take it for the various values, then we see here V R 1, R 2, R 3, then here voltage will change, then resistance will change, then here we see in the last that I R 1, I R 2, I R 3, I R 4, same manner. Then I R 1, R, R total resistance will be R 1 plus R 2 plus R 3 because here we are using the 3 resistance that this is connected in the series. So, R is the R total will be the R 1 plus R 2 plus R 3. 
Now, combination of the registers in the parallel that number of registers are said to be connected in the parallel if one end of the register is connected to the one point and the other end is connected to the another point. It must be not in the same point, but they are connected in the another point. So, that the potential difference across the register is the same and is equal to the applied potential between the two points. In the parallel combination, the reciprocal of equivalent register is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistances and it is similar than any individual resistance. So, in this case we define I by R1 plus I by R2 plus I by R3 all are the combination in the parallel. You see in this diagram here that R1, R2 and R3 are the three resistance which are connected in the parallel. They both are connected with the both the points. You see here that both the points connected with another resistance in the previous one point connected with the one one uh, another point of the register, but here both the point connected with the another resistance. So, we can say here that I, I divided our total we can calculate is 1 by R1, 1 plus R2 plus R3. Now, if we take the series combination example, you see here if uh, R1 having the 1 ohm, R2 having the 2 ohm, R3 having the 3 ohm, then that uh, total resistance will be R1 plus R2 and R3 and we see that this is a series combination. So, total resistance will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 that will be the 6 ohm and this is the parallel you see all the resistance are connected in the parallel series. So, what will be the total resistance? It will be the 1 ohm, 2 ohm, again 3 ohm, R1, R2, R3, then 1, 1, uh, 1 by R will be equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So, it will be 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Now, we take the 6 as a common, then 6 plus 3 plus 2 that will be the total will be the 6 that will be the that you see that how much uh, a 1 by R Q is equal to it will be the uh, 11 by 6 then R total will be the 6 by 11 ohm. Let me take the reciprocal of that. Then what is the next definition is that what is the capacitor? It is also electronic component that is mostly used in the electronic circuit when the two connecting surfaces separated by the insulating material that will be used for the storage of the charges and it uses the time delay filters and the tuned circuit. And how this capacitor constructed? We use the two metal plates that separated by the insulating material, the sandwich, the construction in which, which Swiss roll structure we will use capacitor set by C is equal to epsilon A by T. Now, good capacitor store a lot of charges when only a small voltage is applied, capacitance is charge storage per volt. Capacitor is measured in the Faraday. Farads. What is the unit of uh, capacitor is uh, farads F that is represented by the F. So, big unit is NF, MF and mu F are used as C is equal to Q by V. Energy stored in the capacitor will be defined as E is equal to 1 by 2 Q V. By general definition E is equal to Q V and uh, product of the charge and the voltage. By graphical representation it will be represented by E is equal to 1 by 2 Q V. The other expression of the energy for this Q is equal to Cv is equal to 1 by 2 Qv is equal to 1 by 2 Cv square is equal to 1 by 2 Q square by C. Thank you.